Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls for Dummies. This series will be show you everything you need to know for your Dark Souls playthrough. So you just made it through the Catacombs of Catharsis, and now you're on to High Lord Wolnir. So you're just going to be met by this big door. Go ahead and push that open. And while we're opening that, let's go through what we're going to be using today. We're going to be using the Raw Store Straight Sword, and then the Lloyd Sword Ring, the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, the Estus Ring. And our new addition, the Karthus Milk Ring, which boosts your dexterity and makes you invincible while rolling. With that said, let's go ahead and run up to this cup in the middle and touch that. That will initiate a cutscene. And we're going to just go ahead and skip that. And hop on into the fight. So, you're going to see this item up front, which is going to be the Grave Warden Pyromancy Tome. But I would not recommend grabbing that right now. So what you're going to want to do instead is run around the side, run up, apply the charcoal pine bundle, and start smacking around his hand. And then that will break his first bracelet. Then you're going to run up, get a couple more quick hits on his bracelet. Then you're just going to stick with pine bundles pretty much for the rest of this fight, applying them once you get close to the bracelet. So... Looks like he's going to be going for an attack right now that is pretty punishable, so I'm just going to go ahead and try and beat him up before he kills me with that poison. And you can always stand right in the middle here when he does that downward breath attack, and it will not hit you, so just be mindful of that. Like I said, just run on over, hit him one time, then he'll put his hand back. You can apply your bundle, get a couple of quick smacks. If you ever get stuck in the fog, just roll out of there as fast as possible and go ahead and heal. Then you're just going to want to try and stick with that arm. If it gets in the fog a little bit, you will take damage, but if you're willing to trade, then go ahead and do that. I personally am very aggressive, so I normally take a little bit of damage from the fog, but normally is worth it. Especially for this fight. So, you're going to go back, get the Charcoal Pine bundle ready, wait for him to get an attack that is pretty punishable. Let's see, he just swung around, so now he's putting his hand back down. Bundle, hit him a couple times, and there you go. And that is how you beat High Lord Walnir using a knight. So this video is going to be a little bit different than our usual videos because our version of a mage kill on Walnir is a very unique kill. And so we're going to be putting that in our unique kills series. So if you'd like to see that video, please click right here. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe to continue getting back to the basics.